I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Today we're reading from the book of Genesis, chapter 9. So let's focus on verses 12 through 17. And God said, This is the token of the covenant, which I make with me and you and every living creature with you. For all future generations, I have set my bow in the cloud, and it shall be a token of the covenant with me and the earth. Whenever I form clouds over the earth, and the bow appears in the clouds, I will remember my covenant between me and you and every living creature of all flesh. Water will never again become a deluge to destroy all flesh. The bow will be in the clouds, and I will look at it and remember the everlasting covenant between God and every living creature of all flesh on the earth. God said to Noah, This is the sign of the covenant that I have confirmed between me and all flesh on the earth. Genesis 9, verses 12 through 17. Now, when I was a kid, I used to love seeing rainbows, right? I mean, just it was exciting. You look at me, oh, even now as an adult. And it seems that I saw more rainbows back when I was a kid. And perhaps I should look up more because I suppose they happen quite frequently. I'm just never looking for them. A while back, I was down in San Clemente, California, for a day of surfing. And just as I was about to enter the water for a surf session, the cloudy sea layer began to dissipate, and I noticed a rainbow. And the irony wasn't lost on me. As I was about to ride the waves, I was reminded of the day when those waves rose up and they covered the whole earth. And then, just as quickly, I remembered God's covenant to never do that again. And God had promised that He would flood the earth, and then He did it. And then He promised He would never do it again like that, and He hasn't, nor will He ever. And it sounds like a simple Sunday school lesson, you know, rainbows and floods. But with every rainbow, we are reminded that God's promises can be trusted. And back when we read through the book of the Revelation, we learned that God has promised to judge sin again. And it won't come by way of water because God promised to never do it that way again. But the next time will be by an all-consuming fire. The coming judgment, and it is coming, folks, will be even greater than the ancient flood because it will completely eliminate sin in the world, and in all of creation. And that promise of God is not one that people claim very often. When that last time, when was the last time you prayed, Oh Lord, please judge my sin with fire because you promised to. <laughs> no. But with the promise of judgment also comes the promise of salvation. And there is a way out of the judgment. There is an ark, so to speak, and that escape comes when we fully surrender our lives to Jesus, turning from our sin and receiving the atonement, which is the covering of our sin, which is offered through him. He bought it with his own blood on the cross and he's risen from the grave and he offers it to you if you would turn to him in surrender. Every time you see a fully devoted believer in Jesus, I'm talking about a real one, not just one that might show up to church every now and then. I'm talking about a person who outside of the church is acting and looking like Jesus. Every time you see one of them, think about a rainbow. Because every believer can be assured of a forever promise of God's salvation. The Bible says, all who call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I'm Steve Wiggins, and this is the Groundworks Ministries podcast. Check us out at groundworksministries.com.